He influenced the mini stories that we have at Link. They were basically designed based on what Piotr did. Hello, Cześć. Hello. Cześć, Steve. How are you? Jak się masz? I'm fine, thank you. Mam się dobrze. Thank you. You know, uh, today I have a, I'm really pleased to have a chance to talk with Piotr for a, a variety of reasons. Uh, first of all, because when I was learning Polish, uh, Piotr, his material is what helped me, you know, get to a level. Now, I've forgotten so much Polish now, but at least if I was able to speak at all, I'd largely credit Piotr from get it, for getting me to a level where I could start listening to audiobooks, which I found from uh, Publio uh, PL, which has a, a great selection of audiobooks and ebooks and stuff. But you, you have to get to a level where you can start using this material. And that's where Piotr comes in. So that was the first thing. And we're going to talk a bit about this, about his approach. And of course, he influenced the mini stories that we have at Link. They were basically designed based on what Piotr did. So let me ask you, Piotr, please explain. How did you get into the teaching of Polish online at realpolish.pl? What motivated you to do that? And how did you come up with this wonderful storytelling style? Uh, okay. So thank you for having me here, Steve. You know, it's an honor for me to my be pleasure. here and speak with you. You know, I was at my 40s uh, when I started learning English because all my life I, I just thought I'm not able to learn any language because of school and that story with grammar and so boring materials that I was thinking it's not possible to learn English. And one day I, I decided to learn, mm, it, you know, I wanted to understand only English. So mm -hmm. I was looking for materials on the internet and yeah, I I found this AJ Hawk podcast and day by day I, I just listened to it and I found these stories and those stories with uh, questions and answers was so so interesting for me. The voice of, I don't remember, there was a friend of AJ Hogg uh, named Joe Weiss. He has a great voice for me. I, I really like to listen to his voice, his American accent and all this stuff. So it was really interesting for me. And after... I don't know, maybe it was six months of, yeah, really into it. I was really into it. I was l w using it for six hours a day or more because uh, I, I, work, uh, I work on a computer as, as a graphic designer mm -hmm. and I was able mm -hmm. to listen a lot. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I found that it helps me a lot learning English, you know, and in that point, I thought maybe I, I, I should start learning, uh, teaching Polish the same way. <laughs> Can I just it make one start. comment here before we get into the start of real Polish? AJ Hogue is also a, a great inspiration for me and I think for many people. Effortless English yeah. is his program. He's influenced a lot of people all over the world more than the British Council or any of these other institutions, yeah. A.J. Hogue has helped more people learn English. And he developed, and I think it came through this uh, TPRS movement. In the, and there's a lot of people yes. who developed this approach to storytelling, uh, point of view stories, where you change the tense or you change the purpose, or uh, with these circling questions. And so we've all benefited and we've all learned. And I think in this world, yeah. we all learn from each other. <laughs> Excuse me. The second point I wanted to make was that you found a person whose voice you found agreeable. That's yeah. so important. I have to tell you, I found your voice very agreeable. <laughs> and if you, you if you are going to listen, and we have to listen so often, you said six hours yeah. a day. I mean, I was listening to Polish Polish stories, your stories, and there's you, your voice is very pleasant. There's no tension. And I think that's also very important. So I just wanted to mention those two things. Uh, and now let's get back to how Real Polish began. Yeah, and I, I have to add that uh, AJ Hogue give, gives me this spirit of entrepreneurial, which mm -hmm. 
um, I started to think why maybe I I should start uh, something for me you know my own experience in in a business because you know i i was growing up in a communist country where <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not a common way to work as a entrepreneurial you know so right. it was kind of not easy for me to start but his podcast and teaching You know, it was a great influence for me. So yeah, I start and right now I'm really happy I I did it. So mm -hmm. I I learned uh, English and almost the same way I started learning Spanish. Mm -hmm. I used your website to start learning Spanish and mm -hmm. I after some time I I found a uh, Oscar from Barcelona. Oh, yes. Excellent. Same idea. Yeah. <laughs> Same idea. Yeah. So, yeah, I I mm, I made more more stories in Polish. I have 100 stories. Then I thought mm -hmm. maybe I I could make something for mm, level level up, you know, something right. for intermediate learners and mm -hmm. i make a i make a podcast it's mm -hmm. not not so easy but mm -hmm. i think we can find an easy content all over the internet it's right. e it's not it's not a problem for if you're mm -hmm. starting learning any language it's it's easy but right. at some point you you there is a lack of of good materials so i thought mm -hmm. maybe it's a niche for me <laughs> so mm -hmm. that's why how many, that was how my many, start yeah okay um uh, again a couple of comments on that there are there there's lots of beginner material in every language every time someone yeah. does produces a book on how to learn polish or indonesian they yes. come out with a beginner book with the same boring content uh, you know the doctor's yeah. office the train station uh, whatever Uh, ordering in a restaurant, uh, but your material, and I like to think our mini stories and AJ Hogue and Oscar uh, is also beginner material in the sense that there's so much repetition. Whereas in the oh, typical yes. book, there's no repetition. You have, you go from the train station to the post office yeah. to, uh, you know, the doctor's office and, and there's things don't repeat. So whereas in your material and in the mini stories, the same vocabulary repeats in these point of view stories it repeats within the story so i think it's also very good beginner material but there is an abundance of begin beginner material for most languages and there is an abundance of very difficult material yes. uh, so i can find podcasts in arabic right now in al jazeera what's lacking is that intermediate material and it's difficult because word frequency declines so quickly so you can repeat mm -hmm. the basic you know a thousand words in your beginning stories But pretty soon you're introducing words that are not so frequent. And so then yes. it, it, the important thing is to make these things interesting uh, so that people keep on consuming them, consuming them, consuming them. And eventually they, they uh, you know, acquire the words that they need. So that's in a way a challenge. How, how have you been able to, so your, your basic stories are very good and they're everyday life and it's simple stuff. And I think that's what's so clever. It's somebody who makes uh, coffee in the morning or he drives to work or it's all the things that happen in our daily lives. Yeah. But how about that intermediate material? How, how do you find the subjects for these podcasts? Uh, yeah. You know, it's like uh, I'm looking something for um, which is interesting for me. So when I right. prepare a podcast, I listen in uh, Spanish or in a le in English about a topic mm -hmm. that I can mm -hmm. present in Polish. So mm -hmm. I just want to mm, to use this time of preparing me mm, that works for me as well as a language mm -hmm. learner, not only mm -hmm. a teacher. I I don't consider myself as a teacher. I just provide mm -hmm. a, a new content for for Polish learners. That's it. Mm -hmm. And just 
I want to learn something for from my work as well. So mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. preparing process is a learning time for me. <laughs> it's just simple as that. So you know, um, and uh, go ahead. Sorry, I, I wanted to mention that um, all there are, there are um, approach of teachers who tweets to who treats uh, language learners as a child and mm -hmm. and it for me it's uh, a little bit mm, i don't know i don't like it because i think I when mm, there are people who don't speak polish but they they are really intelligent they they know mm -hmm. a lot of mm, they more mm, a lot more than me about right. I, i don't know different stuff so they are not right not stupid they're not uh, a child so i don't mm -hmm. want to treat them like a child so i agree i think and, and you know yeah sorry go ahead yeah yeah i think that something is interesting for me could be interesting for others as well right. so that's my approach I, i think this is so very important that uh i feel the same way like right now i have a collaborator in iran And uh, she creates material for, for Link. And I look forward to whatever I get. She sent one just yesterday on this uh, osh, which is a Iranian soup, and mm. how to make it and the ingredients and uh, yeah. why it's important. And, and then she does, so she typically does five minutes about the soup, and then she has five minutes of these circling questions. So I'm learning about the soup. I'm learning about the mm -hmm. cuisine of Iran. She did one on the yeah. history of Iran. So, so I'm not consciously trying to, I agree with you. So many of the sort of YouTube videos will be like, uh, you know, they'll have a whole three minutes on how to say, je like they'll <laughs> conjugate the verb vouloir. Like you may watch that video, whatever's there, you're going to forget it. It has no impact. What you have to yeah. do is, is get the language in, in genuine context into you. So your brain starts to get used to it. And, and uh, okay, your, your mini stories or the, your early stories are, are, after a while, not so interesting. But, yes. but you can then bring them as intermediate content, things that are where they're learning. So I learn about the history of Poland or I learn about Polish food or I, I learn something interesting about Poland. I'm not aware that I'm actually learning the language at the same time. Yes, that's the point that um, the goal is maybe not uh, learning a language the goal is uh, enjoy the process and learning something mm -hmm. about history learning uh, something about culture and mm -hmm. you know th there is no day i i i could say i learned uh, i learned uh, spanish or i learned uh, english that's enough <laughs> i'm mm -hmm. done right <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And, so and I just type of, using uh, it of as a yeah. yeah. I I just use a uh, language as a mm, method of learning something about life, about culture, about history. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. So it's it's a tool. One language thing, is a one tool. Type of, it's a tool. One type of content that I'm w I want to explore more, and which we've done a little bit of. We did it in Ukrainian and in the, in Persian, is to just get people to talk about themselves. So I'm a student, or I work in IT, uh -huh. or I do this, or I do oh, that. Yeah. I went last year with the family, went for a trip to uh, you know Austria. So people just talk about their lives. So we have a collection at Link called the Iranians, and mm -hmm. you you meet say 10 or 15 Iranians who talk about their lives. I have no idea what people in Iran do, how they live, what their concerns are, what their hopes are. Yeah. And so you're getting to meet these people. You're getting to know these people. And by listening to their stories, uh, yeah. and, and typically when people just talk, they use less difficult language uh, mm -hmm. as, com as compared to literature. Okay, I can go get a, yeah. a you know, book of Polish literature. It'll be very difficult for me. It's hard. But if I get a bunch of Polish people saying, oh, yeah, we went, we did this, we did that, I'm at school, whatever. I think that kind of content too is an area that we can explore. Yeah, it's like everyday language. It's it's yeah. different than language in a in a books or exactly. textbooks. It's yeah. it's something. Mm, we, yeah, we should, it's we should. Mm -hmm. 
sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a great content. Uh, listening about other culture, what people, how people live in Iran, mm -hmm. or yeah, it's really interesting. Canada, Poland. We should yeah. form a group, you know, the, the Spontaneous Natural Content Creator Society. Okay? Yeah, yeah it's growing. I can see it's growing because when I yes. started, it was 10 years ago. It was only you, I don't know, maybe uh, Oscar, uh, Luca, Oscar and okay, yeah. Moses McCormick. And that's that's it. I remember mm -hmm. uh, Professor Argilius, but he oh, disappeared. Yes. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> it was really a interesting. More academic. <laughs> yeah, a little yeah. more academic, but his, yeah. you know, mm, shadowing method was yes. really interesting for me. I use it a lot yeah. with questions and answers. I try to mm -hmm. mimic uh, th those stories. So it was, yeah, it was useful for me. Okay, listen, I thought we might uh, finish up uh, trying to speak with me trying to speak a little bit of Polish. Oh, great. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, okay. Poprobuem, poprobuem, mówi po polsku. Świetnie. Myślę, że to jest trudne dla mnie, dla mnie mówi po polsku. E, ponieważ e, dawno, dlu, długo e, 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 nie, nie mam e, możliwości e, mówić po polsku. I mm. e, e, tak też, e, e, ponieważ mówim, e, mówim e, po ukraińsku, po polsku, po rosyjsku, rosyjsku, Nie wiem, jeśli e, to jest e, słowo polski, e, z pols, e, język polskiego, z rosyjskiego, e, e, nie wiem, nie wiem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ale e, to, to, to e, nie wadzi, you can't say that. To, to ne, ne. nie przeszkadza. Nie przeszkadza. Nie wadzi, nie, nie wadzi też, nie też wadzi, e, nie, da radę zrozumieć. <laughs> nie wadzi. No. E, po polsku też nie. mówimy. Słowa są bardzo podobne e, w tych wszystkich językach. Polski, ukraiński, białoruski, mm. rosyjski, czeski, mm. słowacki. Wszystkie języki są bardzo podobne. Mm. Mają podobną gramatykę. Mają podobne słownictwo. Więc słownictwo? bardzo łatwo jest e, wymieniać się. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And myslím, že e, e, jestli e, będzie e, dowiedzieć e, 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 Polsku e, e, przez e, dekolik e, tygodni e, mm. e, będzie umieć e, mówić. E, mm. e, dlaczego e, dla mnie e, e, nie jest ważne, e, e, jeśli e, uh, zapom zapom zapomniem zapomniem zapomnę to nie jest problem dla mnie you know mm -hmm. uh, it's a struggle but I, I i just wanted to say you know people sometimes say oh how do you maintain your languages and i often say well like polish like i i, I would have real trouble like in spanish or french or whatever it's not a problem but mm -hmm. say in polish it's a problem but it's not really a problem because everything that i have invested in polish it's still there and so I can't immediately speak Polish, but I yeah. understand Polish. And if I were to go to Poland, I think within a week I would. And even if I mix in the odd word of Ukrainian or Czech, it doesn't really matter. People understand you, and I understand yeah. them. I understand so. every word you said, so so <laughs> okay. that's not problem. <laughs> every uh, word, okay. everything was oh. was perfect. So uh, there are a little perfect, bit but mistakes, but yeah, but understandable. So there yeah. is. There is no and, issue. And when we get more opportunity to use the language, we do improve. Yes. So I think a lot of people learn the language sort of at home, away from where the language is spoken. So obviously yeah. they're not going to speak so well. And especially if they don't, you know, if they leave it for a while. But when you again get the opportunity to use the language, you yeah. will improve. And and we, uh, I think you will agree, we, we are always improving if we have a positive attitude. Yeah. 
Yeah, of course. Yeah. I have the same issue with my Spanish. So I speak mm -hmm. mm, quite well in Spanish, but I have this level that I can reach more without going to Spain or any exactly. country yeah. Spanish speaking. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so I think I just on the same level for I don't know maybe two years, but. Yeah. It's but you enjoy it's it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I enjoy yeah. listening, speaking with my friends through the internet. So always, it, my goal is not a uh, decide that it's it's finished. My Spanish is done. So my goal is right. to use a language. Right. So yeah. 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 Okay, well, listen, it's been really enjoyable. We should do this more often. Thank you. And maybe we should form a group with AJ. I met AJ for the first time in Japan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he's a great guy. And, and Oscar, yeah. of course, I've met. And so there's a group yeah, of us I that saw. are creating more content, more content. There's uh, uh, in French, I've seen it, in Spanish, in Italian. So we are yeah, revolutionizing yeah. the, uh, the world of, <laughs> of language. Course. Learning. Okay. You thank did you it. Much, you Piotr. did it. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Piotr. And I can't wait <laughs> to get back barzo. to more Polish and I have to visit Poland. I have never yeah, been to Poland. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. When yeah. this all this pandemia were finished, you you are invited I, here. I I'm <laughs> looking forward. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Dziękuję. Cześć. Do widzenia. Do widzenia. Cześć.